Welcome to In Your Words, a weekly segment of LMP's opinion section in which we read and respond to your letters. We receive hundreds of letters and we read all of them. In this segment, we highlight a few that we found most interesting. We'll begin this week with Jim Bufano of Elizabethtown. Mr. Bufano has an issue with noise in his neighborhood. He writes, but even people who are retired who don't work in the summer seem to prefer doing loud yard work on Sunday afternoons. On Independence Day, at least five of my neighbors were cutting grass and another power washed his house. Steve Milliken of Mannheim Township has some thoughts on Donald Trump. Obnoxious, egotistic, angry, offensive, condescending, loud, narcissistic, ignorant, pugnacious, inconsiderate, bigoted, immature, braggart, intolerant, untruthful. There were more, but we ran out of time. Meanwhile, Sandy Fry of Strasburg Township has a few words about Hillary Clinton. The Democratic candidate, she writes, is a fine-tuned politically and socially correct con artist. Wake up, America. Hillary Clinton is selling you a bill of goods that has been the mantra for her and the Democratic Party for years. Ed Geisler of East Hempfield Township has some advice for Donald Trump. He writes, if Donald Trump would realize the futility of his campaign and turn the nomination over to his running mate, Mike Pence, it would give many of us Republicans someone we could vote for. Well, Mr. Geisler, that might be fun for some Republicans to think about, and you can certainly debate about who might be a more viable opponent for Hillary Clinton, but Donald Trump isn't going anywhere, especially now that polls show Trump and Clinton in a virtual dead heat. And finally, Bob Bodner of West Lampeter Township is disillusioned about, well, pretty much everything, from corrupt politicians to Olympic swimmers who like to make up stories about being robbed at gunpoint. Mr. Bodner writes, I cannot say that my forecast for the future holds much promise. There are very few heroes and too many zeros in today's society. Bring back the stocks and pillories. Well, that is bleak. In fact, it makes me want to take a left out of our studios and walk right into King Street. But here's something that might restore your faith in humanity. From Edie Brubaker of Lancaster. She writes, my husband and I were having a special lunch at Longhorn Steakhouse for my 95th birthday. After having a delicious lunch complete with an ice cream sundae for dessert, our nice waitress came up to us, not with a bill, but to tell us someone had paid. What a surprise. A big thank you, whoever you are. See, Mr. Bodner, there are good people out there, and sometimes the best go unnoticed. That will do it for us this time. You can write us at LancasterLetters at LMPNews.com. We read every letter we receive, and you can read what we think in the opinion section at LancasterOnline.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Rich Maneri. We'll see you next time. <laughs>